Making movies is not easy. It's a pain in the neck. You could do something 12 different ways, you know, 150 billion different ways. It starts on the page first with the storyteller, with Brad Burp. <sighs> I gotta finish the script just so that we can get going on finishing the first pass. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> we were just talking about you and the dialogue for the prologue. Writing is really and, uh, hard. You know, the part where Helen calls 911. Do you have anything written for that yet? Because I was just ad libbing. You have this white wasteland of the blank page. You know, there's nothing there and you have to kind of just drag something into being. But once you get one thing into being, it kind of suggests another thing. And if you get two characters in a room and they start talking to each other, things start coming out. And pretty soon you're like, whoa, whoa, what's this? And, and it's fun. As we start getting rolling in production, we gobble up those pages and we go explore in the sequences. Could go in tight, see him tossing a few things and then cut back. Well, he'll be totally lit all of a sudden and then the shadow will just, well, da, 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 you know, whatever. Okay. You know, we'd work on scenes and we'd have the scene awesome from beginning, middle, and end in this one scene. It's perfect. It stands alone. The thing with movies is no scene stands alone. It's not hard to find Mark Andrews in any crowd. He kind of sticks right up there. Mark's boards pop out like Mark Andrews pops out. He goes straight to a drawing. He knows what he wants to say, and he says it. If you say, no, I don't want to go that direction, he's like, how about this? He's always got a new idea. He's always got another idea. If you shoot him down, he pops right back up again. He, you know, he can't be stopped. He's a force of nature. I don't want to stop him, but I'm just saying, it can't be done. <laughs> you just want to render this footage like useless, don't you? What? Story happens when you begin and all the way to the end of, you know, the project. Everything's about the story. Brad, he has a script that he brings up to the story department and they, you know, throw around ideas of what this battle will be. But then the arm comes down, Bob screams, oh, the only Bob's standing right there. The story pitch in animation is to give the director a sense of how the sequence is going to play. Cut wide as it swings and boom! So when you pitch into Brad, you have to get into character. You're going to be a performer when you pitch because you're selling this so that he can see it, so that he can really visualize it. We're overhead following him like a cat going after a mouse. So if it's intense, if it's, it's an action scene, you want that director riveted, sitting back in his chair. This is Bob gets the car over him as a shield. <laughs> Sound effects. Got the frozen one. Doof, 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 doof. I mean, the more you lay in, the better. So it's more feeling, is he getting out of it the storytelling that he needs to get? And then we just cut it to a little. Well, it's big.